Croft Street, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, on a beautiful fall day, Saturday, October 17th, 2009. We have the uh, the Dream Team here. Uh, we got the uh, Herbert Village Residents Association uh, person in charge of graffiti, Colin Furness. We got Chris, a graffiti artist. We got uh, Rich Rowan, the 14th Division cop. I'm Constable Scott Mills behind the camera here, the Toronto Crime Stoppers Youth Officer and Toronto Police Legal Graffiti Coordinator. Uh, Colin, what are you doing today here? Well, we've got a lot of volunteers together from the community and we're cleaning out a lot of uh, vandalism tags and we're making way for a good creative space to do murals. It uh, makes our alleyways and our whole neighborhood look a lot nicer. Yeah, Rich, uh, what's your uh, role down here as a cop? Actually, we uh, have the graffiti eradication program, but today we've been contacted uh, by Colin to come down and help out. And uh, we actually have two students uh, who are on the our eradication program here as well, helping out to clean the buzz the laneways as well. Good stuff. Now, uh, Chris, uh, you're a graffiti artist. The stuff behind here, first off, Colin, the stuff behind you here, you're not going over that, are you? No, that's a beautiful mural. And it's uh, right by the street corner, which means people see it all the time. And if this wall were just covered in vandalism tags, you know, kids might come by and see that and go, oh, I'm going to do that all the way down the alley. But instead, this is something you can you can have a look at, you can think about, and uh, this is, I think, it's the biggest uh, mural in our neighborhood. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, there's no tags on this at all. Yeah. Like, they actually respect the work. Like, this is great work. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, here's the source. Here's what we really need to hear from Chris. Uh, Chris, what are you doing down here? Yeah, I'm just helping out, painting over some tags, some little things, and hopefully that will lead to bigger things, opportunities for murals, uh, less public destruction, and, like, I don't just get the artwork out there and not worry about getting in trouble, just, just the art. So yeah. by, by the end of today, I'm foreseeing... Uh, between this team here, yeah. um, that uh, you may have some paint supplied for you. And you have the talent to do a pretty awesome mural like you're seeing behind you. That's what I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> <It's a> legend. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks a lot for working together. Yeah, this, yeah, any day. this is graffiti community building. Anything else you want to say out there, Chris? Anybody else? guys out there just come out you know you don't just ask people network find out where the, the spots are to, to do murals and you, uh, you'll save yourself a lot of trouble and time well hey, it's well said it's an excellent message that's what we're trying to promote here thanks guys uh, appreciate the community cooperation yeah, it's I appreciate uh, your efforts too Scott it's inspiring